Good afternoon, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are doing the candle empties for the month of December and maybe a week, the last week or so in November, because I don't recall if I did candle empties. Did I say wax empties? I meant candle empties. Uh, but before we get started, I would love to say a huge shout out to my friend Marion. Uh, Marion is another person I have become very close to, even though we're thousands of miles away. And she's a great friend and really gives me inspiration uh, in many areas of my life. And so I just want to reach out to Mary and say thank you very much um, for being there for me. I appreciate that. Anyway, one of the things that Mary and I talked about, Mary and I talked about, was myself calling me schlumpy. So I'm not going to call myself schlumpy anymore. Today I'm coming with you. I'm going to call it fresh faced. No makeup nerdy glasses yet again and uh, I'm fresh faced so going forward I will be fresh faced I will not be schlumpy that's my new year's resolution we'll see how long that lasts because basically I'm a schlumpy person okay so candle empty so um as I said the other day there are quite a few here for I don't know four to six weeks worth but when the tree goes up and the lights come down and everything is a glow it just for me is candle burning season um, never do I burn this many candles the rest of the year, but, um, except for Christmas. So there is quite a few here, um, and let's just stop justifying it and get into it. So we have a couple of little onesies first, and this one is from Sonoma, uh, Vanilla Pumpkin Latte, and there is a review for this up on my channel. This one, I love the scent. And at the time of my review, I was almost midway down, and it was a perfect burner no complaints no puny wicks nothing it was fantastic as soon as I put that video up later that day probably three hours later I'm walking into the kitchen and I walk by and what does it have puny wicks puny puny wicks so I left it because one of my subscribers and I apologize I can't remember who told me this said with Sonoma Camel candles just leave them alone it will self-correct don't touch it okay I'll try so I left it all of that day the rest of that day and the following day lit it puny wicks didn't touch it didn't touch it let it go all day or you know however many hours I burned it several like long you know long long burns and then the following day which I guess would have been day three of puny wicks um, I let it go a couple of hours and then I couldn't do it anymore I had to cotton ball it so after I cotton balled it, it did good to look almost down to where I'm at right now. And then this little space between here and here, I cotton balled it like twice. And it's like, eh, okay, I'm over it. Um, but anyway, other than that, it seems to me, it seems, although not everybody, some people have great luck with Sonoma. Um, the majority of the ones I've burned, and I've only burned, I think I had these five that I got in the fall. The scents are great, uh, but it's just they get halfway down and they get puny wicks. So if you can live with that, if you don't mind cotton balling a couple times, go for it. You can always get them on sale. They're always on sale for $9.99, but then if you have coupons or Kohl's cash or whatever, you can take it down even lower than that. So anyway, bottom line, would I repurchase this one again, Vanilla Pumpkin Latte, which is pumpkin, warm vanilla, and espresso. Would I repurchase this? Even though I did have to cotton ball it the last quarter of the candle, yes, I would repurchase it. I did still enjoy that candle. So that was a lot of mumbo jumbo about that. Uh, DW Home Peppermint Bark. Oh my God, I love this. So a few years ago, Canada Kim 1978 got me hooked on these. Um, and uh, so I didn't find any last year, but the year before that, I found like three of these three wicks and a couple of the two wicks. Oh, so good. I have one of the three wicks left. That's all I have left is one more of these. So I will save it for next year. But this burned all the way down, self-extinguished, no puny wick syndrome, no issues whatsoever. Nothing. Great, great burn. And the smell is divine as well. So definitely, if you find this one, I highly recommend picking that one up. I might go, uh, I was going to say I might go shopping for another one or two if I can find them, but I don't need any more candles. Okay, and this one also I have a review. I should have reviewed that one. I didn't. Uh, Hunting, Huntington Home First Snow. Um, this There's also a review on this one on my channel. So this I got at um, 
Aldi. And I've only been to Aldi, I think twice or three times ever. And so when I was in there one time, I went to, actually I went to pick up, <coughs> pardon me, the first time I was in there, I saw some Moscow Mule cups, the copper cups. I had to go back for those. And sitting right on the same shelf as all the bar supplies were the candles. Um, and so I know uh, like Brett Piscopo and anybody else that I know right off the top of my head has reviewed these. And I think they like them for the price. They're $3.99, 14 ounce candle. Um, 14 ounce, is it 14 ounce? It is 14 ounce. Pretty little lids too. I mean, the lids aren't bad. Look, there's a Huntington, Huntington Home logo, Snowflake, whatever. So, I mean, that alone is nice. But uh, if I can remember correctly, I and I, it's been a while, so I, I may be wrong. I apologize. I think the first half of the burn, I burned it down like a quarter because I wanted to get the the review up, and um, I did like it. The throw wasn't that good, but I did enjoy the scent. It was very similar to almost like um, uh, Twisted Peppermint in, in that vibe, like peppermint vanilla-ish, um, but it wasn't that strong if I can recall. However, after I did that video, I put it in one of my Yankee, um, Yankee Hurricanes, I guess you would say, that I got on... Um, I, uh, semi-annual sale from Yankee. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I put it in a hurricane, put it in the bathroom. The throw was much, much better. So I did enjoy this in the end for snow. Yes, I did like it. Okay, three candles and we're only sitting. Oh, geez, okay. Moving on. So now we're going to talk Bath and Body Works. So I did finish two of these little one wick candles. Now I bought six of these at a sale um, at one of the single wick sales. I can't remember how much I paid for them. They're regularly six. So I'm going to say, actually, I think they were were they $3.95 or $4.95? I can't remember, <coughs> pardon me. But anyway, I bought six. And that was my first experience with the one wick candles other than one that was gifted to me by Angela. Uh, Angela is 86 The Watercress on Instagram. And she's also another good friend that I've met on YouTube and she lives in San Antonio. We're gonna get together again in January, right, Angela? Yes. So anyway, I really enjoy these one wick candles. This, uh, which one? Uh, Twisted Peppermint. Did I melt that one already? Burn it. It's super strong. I think in whatever form you get Twisted Peppermint, it's going to be a great thrower. But anyway, I put these in the bathroom. Uh, these little one wicks, they do great. Frosted Cranberry did great. Tis the Season did great. No puny wicks. They burned all the way down. Self-extinguished. I have nothing bad to say about those one wicks. So I'm glad I kind of uh, have a new love in those little one wick candles. Now I think they'd be great for the bedroom as well or any kind of small space that you have. Okay, speaking of Twisted Peppermint, this is Let It Snow, and this is all, some of these like I've had for, <coughs> pardon me, I didn't buy any winter candles this year from Bath & Body Works, so they're at least a year old. Some of them I don't have the lids for, but anyway, Let It Snow, which is Twisted Peppermint, what can I say? It's a, like almost like a 10 out of 10 thrower. I love the scent. Um, I will always purchase Twisted Peppermint. I love it that much. Another one I will always purchase is Marshmallow Fireside, also from Bath & Body Works. This one, the throw was great. The burn, not so great. It got to the halfway point, puny wicks, the rest of the way down. So there's probably, I don't know if you can tell in the shadow or not, but it's probably like an eighth of the candle left. It did not self-extinguish. Self I'm kind of over the puny wicks and I've got enough to get to. So, uh, but still, I loved it and I'll still always purchase Marshmallow Fireside. This is like two winters ago, I was hoarding it. I didn't want to burn it because it was the last one I had and I burned it anyway um, because you can get it, it comes out every year. So why am I hoarding something like that? Peppermint Marshmallow. This was really, really good as well. Really good. This one, um, I'm trying to see if this is the one, if one of these ones self-extinguished early, like the wick clips were really high. I don't think this is the one because uh, I don't see any of the wick clips. But anyway, good throw, good burn, no problems there. This one is one that I definitely was hoarding because it did not come out this year or the year before, and it is Juniper Berry and Pine. And if anybody knows what the dupe is, I know they always bring out you know candles and rename them. I am not up on that. I know many people are. Um, they know the, the candles that come out that have been renamed. Anyway, Juniper Berry and Pine, I love this. I love the vessel. 
uh, but the burn was great. The throw was great. It self extinguished. I didn't have to cotton ball it. It was fabulous. Juniper berry and pine is fresh juniper berry, holiday cranberry, snow capped pine, and peppermint. Um, <coughs> Another New Year's resolution I'm going to make is to slow my roll down. I've got to stop talking so fast. Okay. I don't know if I can, but I will try. But anyhow, uh, Juniper Berry and Pine, loved it, loved it, loved it. If it comes out again in some renamed form, let me know, and I will definitely be getting it. Butter Rum Eggnog. This was last year's Christmas collection. Oh, I wanted to love this so bad. I think last year I bought two, maybe three. Um... And I had the same problem with all of them. This is one of the ones that uh, self-extinguished early. It smells good on cold. The throw is medium at best, like five. Um, this one I had to cotton ball all the way down, all the way down. Um, and I was just kind of over it at the end, but I'm really disappointed. The packaging is really pretty. The scent on cold is great. I love anything with eggnog in it, um, but the burn was just, shoddy so that was a real real disappointment so i you know i probably would not purchase it again okay this one however is a staple winter one of my two favorite winter candles ever i love this i love it so much oh, what, what is the set notes on here white woods pine needles sparkling clementine and spiced clove yes it is such a beautiful winter scent it's not typical Christmas tree like pine or um, evergreen or I don't even know what my Christmas tree is. I have no idea. But this is, I love this one so much. I have it in hand soap and I have it in this and I will always purchase winter as well. That's another one that's a staple. Winter, marshmallow fireside, twisted peppermint. Um, just, you know, nothing special. The regulars and they're regulars because they are so great and they keep coming back year after year. All right, that leads us down to homeworks. Um, and I thought I meant, I guess oak and pomegranate. I, I burned that one last month, I guess. Oak and pomegranate was also a really good one. And I think it's still on the website, but don't quote me on that, on QBC website. If you're not familiar with, um, if you're not familiar with Homeworks Candles, sold by Harry Slacken, who used to do uh, Bath and Body Works candles, sells his candles. His brand is called Homeworks on QVC. This one is Garland Berry. It came in a set of two, and it was holly berries, blackberry, fir needles, and balsam. This was really nice. This is, for me, Christmas in a candle. Christmas tree and berries together. That's Christmas in a candle for me. That's my favorite blend. I just said, I mentioned a few other favorites, but this is one of my favorite blends, is berries and Christmas trees. Um, this one burned all the way down. It self-extinguished. I did not cotton ball it. It didn't tunnel. I mean, nothing. This, I was so happy. These candles that I have here in front of me from Homeworks, I have nothing but good to say, and I'm so happy I can say that, because last year I just kind of opted out of Homeworks last year because the whole wick situation, the burn situation, not happy at all. So I was not going to spend money on something that didn't perform as I think my money should pay for. Anyhow, this on, look, I mean, there's a little bit of soot there on that side, but otherwise look how clean that is. I mean, this was just a perfect burning candle. Loved it, the throw was great. I'm gonna say seven, seven and a half, no complaints there whatsoever. And the other one uh, that I burned is Frozen Balsam. Also love this one a lot. Still has scent and there's nothing left but wick clicks. Wick, wick clicks, wick clips. Um, and again, no soot burned all the way down, no tunneling, nothing, nothing, nothing. Gorgeous candle, gorgeous, gorgeous fir balsam, frosted ozone, bergamot, oak moss, and evergreen. And I absolutely will repurchase this next year. Love it, love it, love it. If you love those balsam, fresh, frozen Christmas tree scents, definitely check that one out. Definitely, definitely, definitely check that one out for sure. Okay, now I have a couple here from, um, oh, I'll do this one next. I have one from, oh look, let me, pushing wax all over the place. Um, the Woodland Collection, and this is Woodland Trail. And this is my second year. This, in the Woodland Collection, there's two different 
groupings. This is the first year I had the one with this in it, and I'll, the other one is still burning, so next month I'll have that candle empty for you. But uh, first of all, who doesn't love these hobnail glasses? I mean, how can you not love these hobnail glasses? And the lid turns into the base. Oops, sorry. The lid turns into the base. I had a wax accident one day, and so it does have some wax on it. But these also are really good. And the throw on these woodland ones, I'm gonna say is like seven, eight out of 10. Also very, very good. Uh, it went all the way down. Again, self-extinguished. Those are the wick clips there. Uh, no tunneling, no cotton balling, no sooting, nothing. Perfect, perfect burn. I'm so happy that Homeworks is back in the house. Really, really, really. Okay. Sugared cedar wood, warm amber, smoked oak, and marshmallow. Um, and you know I'm not an amber person, but all of those scents combine very balanced. One doesn't outperform the other. Really, really nice, um, outdoorsy, woody, fresh. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm just like all these uh, hobnail uh, jars I just now like collecting it there's only so many things you can do with them so I think um, I might let this one go I've got still a lot more hobnails to burn so I'll probably let that one go and these final three are from the um, the Christmas or the holiday uh, today's special value there was a holiday collection and a harvest collection if I'm not mistaken they were a set of four this time and they're smaller. Um, these are um, 14 ounces where usually the homeworks are 20 ounces, 18 ounces, sorry. So <clears throat> this was this year's set of four and this is the usual you know, set of three or two depending on the collection that you're buying. So, um, and I did not mind that they were 14 ounces at all. I would rather have four 14 ounce candles than two or three 18 ounce candles. So I was totally fine with it. And um, let's see, this one is Bordeaux Fig and Wild Raspberry. And this one was a little, the throw was light. Uh, it was Bordeaux Fig, Wild Raspberry, White Woods and Vetiver. And yeah, I don't smell anything now. The throw on this one, I'm gonna say was like a five. It really wasn't much more than that. It was, I like this, I, li I enjoyed the scent but I wish it had thrown a little bit more. <clears throat> I thought it was getting dry. Uh, this one again, no puny wicks, no tuddling. This did off, did put off a little bit of soot um, at the top because it did get big wicks as did this uh, Woodland Trail one. This within an hour had ginormous uh, mushroom tops. So after every hour or so, I would extinguish it, let it harden up, <coughs> pardon me, cut off the mushroom tops and go with it again, but it really burned very fast. That burned very fast, and these burn pretty fast as well. Big mushroom tops um, that need to be trimmed, but other than that, I mean, the throw was, as I said, medium, uh, but the burn was great, no complaints there. Another one from that collection is Season's Greetings, and this was Juniper Sprig, Winter Mint, Red Currant, and Balsam. And this one I really enjoyed a lot. And this one I burned in the living room, I believe next to the Christmas tree or close to the tree, not super close to the Christmas tree, but close enough. Um, again, no burn issues whatsoever. The throw on this one was better. This was like seven, seven and a half. I could smell that one, it was enjoyable. And then finally, Maple Rum Strudel, this was, uh, it was a holiday collection and a gourmand collection. I think that's how it went. And I had this candle last year in the big, um, in the one of the bigger three wicks uh, that came out last year. And I liked it last year. I didn't love it. The scent appeal, uh, same this year. I didn't love it. I liked it okay. Uh, however, the burn again was another one. This one had more soot. You can see it had a little more soot on it. But again, how look how clean. Other than the soot, though, there's not there's no residue. It burned completely down on its own. I mean, and these are still available on the website. So definitely, I would try to check those out. And they might even go on sale after Christmas. That or even well, it is after Christmas. But that's the weird thing about QVC and their homeworks candles. You can go on the website right now and there'll be homeworks candles that will range anywhere between $24.98 and 
and anywhere in between. Like there just seems is no consistency with the pricing. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure who does that, but whatever, that's just what it is. But I definitely would recommend this, uh, these set of four holiday co uh, collection and the Gourmand collection as well. Okay, so that is it. Um, this is what I burned, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17 candles in a month. I think that's a lot, right? I don't know. But anyway, as I said, it is what it is. I didn't say that. I just said it now. But anyway, so that is my candle empties. So definitely you won't see this next month. I do have a couple going that I'll finish off in the holiday collection theme, I guess. And then it's going to go back down to normal, like, you know, I don't know, two or three or four a month, whatever. Um, so that's it. So um, I did obviously get through a lot of my candles i did not have a huge candle collection i didn't have hundreds of candles anyway but i probably have not a lot maybe only 20 candles left i don't know but i'm gonna pull them out and i'll show you what's left some people were interested to see what i do have left and so we'll do that and i hope everybody enjoys the rest of your day happy new year everybody um, make it a safe one and i'll see you in the new year bye